Hello, this is uh, Dr. Oye Seyed Khadar, Assistant Professor of Physics, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangodu. Let us today see about the phototransistor. Phototransistor is a device that has the ability to detect the level of incident radiation and accordingly changes the flow of electric current between emitter and collector terminals. See, depending upon the incident radiation, upon the intensity of the incident radiation, the flow of current changes. So, that is phototransistor. It is a three layer semiconductor device that consists of a light sensitive base region. It operates on the principle of photoelectric effect. So, this is the symbol of uh, phototransistor. The construction of NPN phototransistor. The light is allowed to incident on the base collector. See, it is their arrow is marked in this diagram. In that junction, the light is incident on the base. Initially, phototransistor were fabricated from silicon or germanium as their base material that result and provides homojunction structure. However, in recent times, these are constructed using materials like gallium or arsenide, thereby providing a heterojunction structure. This is so because these structure exhibit large conversion efficiency they are more capable of changing light energy into electrical energy as compared to homojunction transistors. So, phototransistors are mainly enclosed in a metallic case that consists of lens at the top in order to gather the incident radiation on it. So, working of phototransistor, the operation of a phototransistor depends on the intensity of radiation falling on its base. Its working is almost similar to a normal transistor. However, the variation lies in the input current that drives the circuit. And in the case of the phototransistor, the incident light generates driving current. So, the circuit diagram of a phototransistor, see the base, the incident light is incident on the base and the current is flowed and the output is taken in the collector emitter region. In the circuit arrangement, we can clearly see that the base region is kept unconnected with an external supply voltage and is used as the region for radiation incidence. Only the collector region is connected to the positive side of the supply provider along with the emitter which is connected to the negative side. However, the output is taken at the emitter terminal of the transistor. So, the operation when no any light is allowed to incident at the base region of the transistor, the due to temperature variation movement of minority carrier across the junction generates a very small current through the transistor, which is reverse saturation current, basically termed as dark current, no current. Here the base current IB is majorly zero. Here in this case, the output will be less as compared to the supply provided. But when a certain amount of light energy is allowed to fall on the base of the transistor, then electron hole pair get generated, the applied electric field causes the electrons to move into the emitter region, thereby generating large electric current, the characteristic curve of the transistor, phototransistor. As the intensity of the light falling at the base region is increased, the current through the device also increases. Here the generated photo current majorly depends on the illumination provider on the base. The illumination is more than the output current is also more. 
as all the curve in the above figure are clearly indicating the current increases with the intensity of the radiation that falls at the base region. Then finally, the application of phototransistor where it is used in light controlling and detecting in an indication of level and relays in counting system in punch card reader. So, that is about phototransistor. Thank you.